Hey, Ian here from Jardin Glen Elm in Southwest Quebec. I want to show you guys something today about clay soil. Um, it can be pretty tough to work. Um, the bed that I'm standing over here that I just passed the BCS over with the, the power harrow behind it um, is uh, a bed that we had a lot of trouble with last year. It was compacted even after uh, having planted uh, lettuce and tomatoes in it successively. Uh, we planted uh, cucumbers in it and uh, we were finding that the, the water would just come right out the sides of the bed. We've got raised beds here that are about four inches high and uh, after about five minutes the water instead of going down to the root zone would uh, basically just come out the sides of the bed and we'd have puddles you know, two inches deep sometimes between the beds which was just uh, you know a real head scratch or why is this happening. Um, now uh, broad forking obviously can help uh, but we found that we needed to go a little bit further than that so I took the um, the rotary plow on the BCS and I worked up the beds entirely in this greenhouse so we have six beds in here 48 inches wide and uh, uh, basically what happened is I ran into some really massive chunks in this back section here uh, no wonder that the plants weren't having a good time in there that we were having nitrogen deficiencies or what appeared to be nitrogen deficiencies it's just because the roots couldn't get in we had this massive uh, hard chunky soil basically like plasticine back here now it had I had been using a no-till uh, approach in this greenhouse basically since the beginning so for uh, about seven years all I had done was really superficially work these beds and I was hoping that the worms would do the work after having broad forked um, now it needed more than that so I've discovered that you really do need to break up the soil at some point uh, at a reasonable depth to allow those chunks to to break down but uh, this is kind of the sort of thing that I was dealing with uh, back in the fall, except that they were about three times bigger than that. Um, now, some of them I was able to actually break up with the rotary plow, and some of them I wasn't. They would just, you know, would spin around. The rotary plow was this huge vice. It's about eight inches wide, basically like a screw that 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 nails um, <laughs> chunks like this into submission. But uh, it wasn't enough. It didn't actually work. So I left them on the surface of the soil uh, over the winter, and here is what happened. So the chunks are still there. Some of them completely broke up on their own, but the bigger ones sort of broke basically through the freeze-thaw weathering. And because I've only got one hand here, I can't break it up really easily, but you can see just how many, I got a close look here, just how many worm holes there are in there. Now, some really big ones too. Now, obviously the worms did a number on these chunks, uh, have not had a particularly difficult time getting into that soil, but it wasn't quite enough to break it up. So between the mechanical tillage and the work of the worms, now of course mechanical tillage hurts the worms, uh, but they do recover, obviously. Uh, otherwise these holes wouldn't be there because they weren't there in the fall. Uh, and between the tillage, the worms and the freeze-thaw weathering, now we've got something that actually does break up uh, and that the paro harrow was able to get through for the most part. So uh, that is one trick that we're using here at Glen Elm to, uh, to break up this clay and to allow stuff to grow in it. Uh, otherwise, it is an extremely rich soil. <laughs> if it weren't for this, uh, this propensity to being so awfully heavy, it would, uh, it would actually be, uh, be a pleasure to work with because it doesn't take a lot of nutrients and it doesn't seem to leach very much either. It hangs on to the nutrients. Um, so as long as we've got the right texture, it's a very forgiving soil nutrient-wise. So there you have it. Thank you for watching.